Okay, um, so what we're going to talk about is, let's start again. What we're going to talk about is VAs for the real estate market. Uh, a VA is a virtual assistant, but I want to talk about the things they can do for you because I was with a real estate agent last week and there were so many things that he just could do if he had more time. But also, he nearly lost me as a contact because it took him three or four days to get back in touch because he wasn't picking up my messages, he wasn't responding, etc. etc. So I actually sent him a message saying, Look, I'll leave you to get in touch with me. I've got more important things to be doing. Um, I've tried contacting you four times. Um, you wanted this engagement, so I'm just going to leave it to you because I've got other things to be doing. I'm, I feel like I'm wasting my time. He then responded the following day with, Oh, ever so sorry blah 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 but the point being is that never needed to happen and I'll explain why now the reason is he's so busy but with a VA they deal with your web listings they deal with your photo editing they deal with your slideshows if you're using slideshows on your sites they deal with the video editing so if you're getting 360 views etc they can do all the editing for you you just send it to them throw it in the Dropbox they'll deal with it upload it and send it back so you, you don't have to have too much engagement you just get this stuff to them and they'll deal with the rest they deal with the website updates maybe you do stuff regionally um, to keep people interested for example putting updates relating to the weather or there's a typhoon or something you can actually keep updates saying make sure you uh, batten down the hatches for this weekend or it could be that we've got a big festival or something it doesn't really matter they keep the website up to date so you don't have to then they deal with the web chat first point of contact little window on the side of your website your VA sat there they'll respond to customers queries where are you I can't find you your, your office etc etc they'll deal with all those inquiries now inside the office there's stuff that they can do for you that you may already be doing yourself the first one is research Sometimes you need to have more information related to something. Maybe you want to know what your competitor is doing. Why is your competitor selling more houses than you? Is he running some sort of special campaign? They can do the research for you. Call management. They deal with the incoming telephone calls. They deal with the outgoing calls. They deal with all the general stuff that's going on in your office remotely, keeping you free. They deal with the invoicing so that they can get the invoices out because they can uh, contact your printer in your office all the way from the Philippines or anywhere else. They can deal with the quotations. The same thing can be printed out. The person, whoever in the US or wherever, just has to put them in the envelope. All the rest is done for them. Uh, same with the customer queries. Although we've got it on the web chat, maybe they email, maybe they telephone. All that can be done with the virtual assistant. They become your buffer. One of the things I will say about the, my new friend, the real estate agent, is he deals with too many calls he doesn't have to. That's why he's losing so much time. Because he has somebody phone him out about something that he doesn't need to directly deal with. It may be that Manuel the gardener hasn't turned up on Thursday. Has he organized somebody for Friday? Why does my new friend need to be dealing with that? The VA will deal with that. She will sort out the new gardener and call him back and say, he's already booked in for you, blah, blah, blah. Because if you're like me, if you get very, very busy, you may even forget to call them back, even if it's arranged. So you're trying to create a buffer so that A, you don't get those constant people calling you up. Do you want to buy our services? Do you want this? Advertising, blah, blah, blah. They de your VA deals with all that. Nothing gets through her unless you want it to. Gets on to contractors. As we were saying earlier, dealing with the management of Manuel, didn't turn up to do the gardening. In the same way, you just had a property come in that needs completely gutting, refitting. You can say, go and get me three quotes, and she comes back with the quotes for you. Job done. Sales calls. Out, outbound sales calls to people. They could actually be canvassing for more properties, could be canvassing for rental properties, could be canvassing whatever you need. You've got them there. The your VA's with you for X amount of hours every day. Now we're on to your personal life. First thing is, 
your bills. How do you make sure you get your bills paid on time? Let your VA do it. They'll do with the all the direct debits and all the bits and pieces and just update you um, as and when. So for example, I know in the US, uh, QuickBooks is very popular. So you could actually interlink all that stuff with QuickBooks and they just manage it and make sure everything's paid on time and you just say, don't pay anything till Friday or whatever, but you don't have to physically sit there doing it all yourself. Management of dates, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, whatever it is, your VA can deal with your calendar for you. As such, you never forget any dates, which gets on to point three, personal shopper. Is your wedding anniversary coming up? You can go to your VA, can you get me some flowers? Um, I don't want to spend more than $50. And she'll come back and say, okay, there's a flower shop two streets away. They can deliver it on time. And I've already placed the order for you, etc. Makes life so much easier. Um, dealing with awkward people, because we all have them. I, I have some people I dread on the phone, not because they're horrible people, but simply they're just people I don't need to talk with on a regular basis. Um, I get people ask me a lot of questions sometimes where they're obvious answers, and I'm sort of like, why are you asking me? There's Google right in front of you. Um, you can palm a lot of those off. <laughs> um, you know, if you had, say, a friend that's starting a website business and you said, well, if you get stuck, I'll give you a hand, you know, as an example for me. And then he'd ring you up every 10 minutes. She could actually just deal with them and say, oh, well, I've done how to do it. Here's a YouTube link. Oh, I've, I've done that bit now. How do I do this? Oh, I'll have to get the phone in a minute. Um, there you go, that's that's one of the reasons you would actually need a VA. Next one is homework. If your kids are doing homework on a specific project, then that is also a useful one because they can work with them. And often the VA is because they're of a younger generation, they get on well with the kids. So they can actually help your kids if you're unavailable. Although ideally you want to be helping your kids yourself. <laughs> uh, dealing with letters. When you have your bills come through and you have a ISP, internet service provider, that's new in the area, doing discounts and stuff, your VA will actually be able to say, hang on a minute, what's, the, what's this deal? Because that's actually $20 a month cheaper than what you're paying. Is it better? She'll do all the chasing around and come back to you and say, there's the information, do you want it or not? Get rid of all that, having to read the crap yourself, she'll deal with it, which gets on to seven, getting you the best deal. So there is just some ideas of what a virtual assistant can do for you. And as you can see, that's a fairly extensive list, just off the top of my head. This is what people need to remember, is you're not just thinking about the little bits and pieces, you've got to expand it out and say, right, this takes me two hours a day. Can she take half of it or all of it off me? And that's where you start getting your time back, which means you get more productive because you're using cheaper labor to do a lot of the stuff that's the um, routine things so you can concentrate on the stuff that makes the money. Thanks for watching.